Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'll be covering another water horse legend, the Nugla from Shetland. It was also called a Shupilti, and was sometimes spotted on the Orkney Islands too. It's predominantly male, and they have soft, sleek fur that ranges from a bluish grey to a white colour, and they had a very distinct looking tail. It was in the shape of a wheel, and they could use it like a rudder to swim at an extremely fast speed, but they would try to hide it between their legs, and only came out at twilight. In some legends, they are said to have flaming eyes and luminescent tails, but in all legends, they are connected to streams, rivers, and locks, and they are gentle in nature, although they do like to play tricks. Since these beings have some shape-shifting abilities, they can make themselves appear saddled. An unsuspecting person will come along, see a tame horse and try to ride it, but then the nuglet will gallop into the water, drenching the person and only occasionally drowning them. Very rare occasion. They tend to favour the form of a good-conditioned, attractive horse, but they can assume the form of a handsome man. It is also said there is only one being that can safely ride them, and they are the Finmen, but this would appear to have been a later addition to the folklore. Hoy has been known for its nuglas. In the area around the Water Ahoy, there have been many sightings, and over at Little Loch at Rackwick, it's said the Nugla will hide on the Risa Little Island and wait for the person to reach them, and then ride them off into the waters. There is also a story on Shetland that talks of a group of men who had managed to ensnare a Nugla. It was chained to a standing stone that was between two locks, and the water horse struggled so much he was able to free himself but the signs of his struggle can still be seen on the standing stones to this day. But although these creatures weren't bad, they were a nuisance, especially for people who worked in the watermills. Nooglers were fascinated by them, and would find their way into the underhouse and hold onto the turl. This then stopped the millstones from being able to turn, and it's said that there is only one way to make them move on. It's to throw a brand down the mid-shaft. The Noogler will be frightened off, but unhurt. So that's it for this video. But be wary if you come across a water horse and you can't see its tail. If it looks saddled as you approach it, you might just get drenched. If you come across a water horse that has seaweed in its hair, that's a kelpie, and you stand a higher chance of being drowned and probably eaten. But if it has a person on its back already and they look like they're attached, run to fresh water. That's the demonic Nukalevi. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, subscribe and click the bell and I'll see you in my next video, in the comment section and on Twitter. Thank you for watching, bye!